Well, it's early stages yet in assessing uh, the level of uh, damage, but uh, the uh, the fire authorities in Sao Paulo are saying now that two are confirmed dead, not three as they initially uh, uh, stated. And uh, I think an assessment will be going on uh, late into the evening here about the, the scale of the damage. Uh, the public authorities in the city of Sao Paulo will want to assess whether they want to stop the work in order to make an investigation to ensure that this uh, type of accident doesn't happen again. And that could complicate still further the work on completing this uh, stadium, uh, which is meant to host the, the opening game of the World Cup. Uh, there was a lot of pressure on to get this done uh, by the end of December. That was the FIFA deadline. And and uh, that's all pretty much up in the air at the moment as the, this investigation continues. It, it is clear in, in other parts of the country that there are uh, there are still complications in uh, in the city of uh, Cuiabá, for example. There are considerable delays, so there's a lot of focus and a lot of pressure on the uh, uh, Brazilian authorities. We're only a few months away from the uh, the start of the World Cup in in June, so uh, this. Uh, accident today uh, is a tragedy for the families concerned, but undoubtedly a, a blow to the tournament as well. This is Brazil's largest uh, city and there was a lot of pressure uh, to get the stadium right here and, and things have gone drastically wrong here today and the authorities will want to know why.